Barcelona, Spanish, is a city on the coast of northeastern Spain. It is the capital and largest city of the autonomous community of Catalonia, as well as the second most populous municipality of Spain. With a population of 1.6 million within city limits, its urban area extends to numerous neighboring municipalities within the province of Barcelona, and is home to around 4.8 million people, making it the fifth most populous urban area in the European Union after Paris, the Ruhr area, Madrid, and Milan. It is one of the largest metropolises on the Mediterranean Sea, located on the coast between the mouths of the rivers Lubregat and Basos, and bounded to the west by the Serra de Coisarola mountain range, the tallest peak of which is 512 metres high. Founded as a Roman city, in the Middle Ages Barcelona became the capital of the county of Barcelona. After joining with the Kingdom of Aragon to form the Confederation of the Crown of Aragon, Barcelona, which continued to be the capital of the Principality of Catalonia, became the most important city in the Crown of Aragon, and the main economic and administrative center of the Crown, only to be overtaken by Valencia, wrested from Arab domination by the Catalans, shortly before the dynastic union between the Crown of Castile, and the Crown of Aragon in 1492. Barcelona has a rich cultural heritage, and is today an important cultural center and a major tourist destination. Particularly renowned are the architectural works of Antoni Gaudi and Luis Domenici Montana, which have been designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The city is home to two of the most prestigious universities in Spain, the University of Barcelona and Pompeu Fabra University. The headquarters of the Union for the Mediterranean are located in Barcelona. The city is known for hosting the 1992 Summer Olympics as well as world-class conferences and expositions and also many international sport tournaments. Barcelona is a major cultural, economic, and financial center in southwestern Europe, as well as the main biotech hub in Spain. As a leading world city, Barcelona's influence in global socio-economic affairs qualifies it for global city status. Barcelona is a transport hub, with the port of Barcelona being one of Europe's principal seaports and busiest European passenger port, an international airport, Barcelona El Prat Airport, which handles over 50 million passengers per year, an extensive motorway network, and a high-speed rail line with a link to France and the rest of Europe. Chapter 1 – Names The name Barcelona comes from the ancient Iberian Barcano, attested in an ancient coin inscription found on the right side of the coin in Iberian script as, in ancient Greek sources as Beta Alpha Rho Kappa Iota Nu Omega Nu, Barcanon, and in Latin as Bersino, Barcelonum, and Barcelona. Some older sources suggest that the city may have been named after the Carthaginian general Homilcar Barca, who was supposed to have founded the city in the 3rd century BC. But there is no evidence that Barcelona was ever a Carthaginian settlement, or that its name in antiquity, Bersino, had any connection with the Basid family of Homilcar. During the Middle Ages, the city was variously known as Barcinona, Barcelona, Barcelona, and Barcinona. Internationally as well as domestically, Barcelona's name is abbreviated colloquially to Barca in reference to the football club FC Barcelona, whose anthem is the Cant del Barca Barca chant. A common abbreviated form used by locals for the city is Barna. Another common abbreviation is BCN, which is also the IATA airport code of the Barcelona El Prat airport. The city is referred to as the Chatat Compel in Catalan and Ciudad Condal in Spanish, owing to its past as the seat of the Count of Barcelona. Chapter 2 – History Chapter 2 – Section 1 – Prehistory The origin of the earliest settlement, at the site of present-day Barcelona is unclear. The ruins of an early settlement have been found, including different tombs and dwellings dating to earlier than 5000 BC. The founding of Barcelona is the subject of two different legends. The first attributes the founding of the city to the mythological Hercules. The second legend attributes the foundation of the city directly to the historical Carthaginian general, Homilcar Barca, father of Hannibal, who supposedly named the city Bersino after his family in the 3rd century BC, 
but there is no historical or linguistic evidence that this is true. Chapter 2 Section 2, Roman Barcelona In about 15 BC, the Romans redrew the town as a castrum centered on the Mons Tabor, a little hill near the Generalitat and City Hall buildings. The Roman Forum, at the crossing of the Cardo Maximus and Decumanus Maximus, was approximately placed where current Placa de Saint Jome is. Thus, the political center of the city, Catalonia, and its domains has remained in the same place for over 2,000 years. Under the Romans, it was a colony with the surname of Faventia, or, in full, Colonia Faventia Julia Augusta Pia Bersino or Colonia Julia, Augusta Faventia Paterna Bersino. Pomponius Mella mentions it among the small towns of the district, probably as it was eclipsed by its neighbor Torico, but it may be gathered from later writers that it gradually grew in wealth and consequence, favored as it was with a beautiful situation and an excellent harbor. It enjoyed immunity from imperial burdens. The city minted its own coins, some from the era of Alba survive. Important Roman vestiges are displayed in Placa del Rey underground, as a part of the Barcelona City History Museum, the typically Roman grid plan is still visible today in the layout of the historical center, the Barry Gothic. Some remaining fragments of the Roman walls have been incorporated into the cathedral. The cathedral, known very formally by the long name of Cathedral Basilica Metropolitana de Barcelona, is also sometimes called La Seu, which simply means cathedral in Catalan. It is said to have been founded in 343. Chapter 2 Section 3, Medieval Barcelona The city was conquered by the Visigoths in the early 5th century, becoming for a few years the capital of all Hispania. After being conquered by the Arabs in the early 8th century, it was conquered after a siege in 801 by Charlemagne's son Louis, who made Barcelona the seat of the Carolingian Hispanic March, a buffer zone ruled by the Count of Barcelona. The Counts of Barcelona became increasingly independent and expanded their territory to include much of modern Catalonia, although on 6 July 985, Barcelona was sacked by the army of Almanza. The sack was so traumatic that most of Barcelona's population was either killed or enslaved. In 1137, Aragon and the county of Barcelona merged in dynastic union by the marriage of Ramon Berenguer IV and Petronilla of Aragon, their titles finally borne by only one person when their son Alfonso II of Aragon ascended to the throne in 1162. His territories were later to be known as the Crown of Aragon, which conquered many overseas possessions and ruled the western Mediterranean Sea with outlying territories in Naples and Sicily and as far as Athens in the 13th century. Barcelona was the leading slave trade center of the Crown of Aragon up until the 15th century, when it was eclipsed by Valencia. It initially fed from eastern and Balkan slave stock later drawing from a Mar Ibian and, ultimately, sub-Saharan pool of slaves. The Bank of Barcelona or Torla de Canvay, often viewed as the oldest public bank in Europe, was established by the city magistrates in 1401. It originated from necessities of the state, as did the Bank of Venice and the Bank of Genoa. Chapter 2 Section 4, Barcelona under the Spanish Monarchy The marriage of Ferdinand II of Aragon, and Isabella I of Castile in 1469 united the two royal lines. Madrid became the center of political power whilst the colonization of the Americas reduced the financial importance of Mediterranean trade. Barcelona was a center of Catalan separatism, including the Catalan revolt against Philip IV of Spain. The Great Plague of 1650-1654 halved the city's population. In the 18th century, a fortress was built at Morduic that overlooked the harbor. In 1794, this fortress was used by the French astronomer Pierre-François André Mekin for observations relating to a survey stretching to Dunkirk that provided the official basis of the measurement of a meter. The definitive meter bar, manufactured from platinum, was presented to the French Legislative Assembly on the 22nd of June 1799. Much of Barcelona was negatively affected by the Napoleonic Wars, but the start of industrialization saw the fortunes of the province improve. Chapter 2 Section 5, 
the Spanish Civil War and the Franco period. During the Spanish Civil War, the city, and Catalonia in general, were resolutely republican. Many enterprises and public services were collectivized by the CNT and UGT unions. As the power of the republican government, and the Generalitat diminished, much of the city was under the effective control of anarchist groups. The anarchists lost control of the city to their own allies, the communists and official government troops, after the street fighting of the Barcelona May Days. The fall of the city on 26 January 1939, caused a mass exodus of civilians who fled to the French border. The resistance of Barcelona to Franco's coup d'état, was to have lasting effects after the defeat of the republican government. The autonomous institutions of Catalonia were abolished, and the use of the Catalan language in public life was suppressed. Barcelona remained the second largest city in Spain, at the heart of a region which was relatively industrialized and prosperous, despite the devastation of the civil war. The result was a large-scale immigration from poorer regions of Spain, which in turn led to rapid urbanization. Chapter 2 Section 6, Late 20th Century In 1992, Barcelona hosted the Summer Olympics. The after-effects of this are credited with driving major changes in what had, up until then, been a largely industrial city. As part of the preparation for the Games, industrial buildings along the sea front were demolished and three kilometers of beach were created. New construction increased the road capacity of the city by 17%, the sewage handling capacity by 27%, and the amount of new green areas and beaches by 78%. Between 1990 and 2004, the number of hotel rooms in the city doubled. Perhaps more importantly, the outside perception of the city was changed making, by 2012, Barcelona the 12th most popular city destination in the world and the 5th amongst European cities. Chapter 2 Section 7, Recent History the death of Franco in 1975 brought on a period of democratization throughout Spain. Pressure for change was particularly strong in Barcelona, which considered that it had been punished during nearly 40 years of Francoism for its support of the Republican government. Massive, but peaceful, demonstrations on the 11th of September 1977 assembled over a million people in the streets of Barcelona to call for the restoration of Catalan autonomy. It was granted less than a month later. The development of Barcelona was promoted by two events in 1986 Spanish accession to the European Community, and particularly Barcelona's designation as host city of the 1992 Summer Olympics. The process of urban regeneration has been rapid, and accompanied by a greatly increased international reputation of the city as a tourist destination. The increased cost of housing has led to a slight decline in the population over the last two decades of the 20th century as many families move out into the suburbs. This decline has been reversed since 2001, as a new wave of immigration has gathered pace. In 1987, an ETA car bombing at Hipperka killed 21 people. On 17 August 2017, a van was driven into pedestrians on La Rambla, killing 14 and injuring at least 100, one of whom later died. Other attacks took place elsewhere in Catalonia. The Prime Minister of Spain, Mariano Rajoy, called the attack in Barcelona a jihadist attack. A MAC news agency attributed indirect responsibility for the attack to the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. During the 2010s, Barcelona became the focus city for the ongoing Catalan independence movement, its consequent standoff between the regional and national government and later protests. Chapter 3, Geography Chapter 3 Section 1, Location Barcelona is located on the northeast coast of the Iberian Peninsula, facing the Mediterranean Sea, on a plain approximately 5 km wide limited by the mountain range of Coisarola, the Llobregat River to the southwest and the Basos River to the north. This plain covers an area of 170 square kilometers, of which 101 square kilometers are occupied by the city itself. It is 120 kilometers, south of the Pyrenees and the Catalan border with France. Tibidabo, 
512 meters high, offers striking views over the city and is topped by the 288.4 meters Torre de Coisarola, a telecommunications tower that is visible from most of the city. Barcelona is peppered with small hills, most of them urbanized, that gave their name to the neighborhoods built upon them, such as Carmel, Puget and Rovira. The escarpment of Morduic, situated to the southeast, overlooks the harbor and is topped by Morduic Castle, a fortress built in the 1718th centuries to control the city as a replacement for the Chitadella. Today, the fortress is a museum and Morduic is home to several sporting and cultural venues, as well as Barcelona's biggest park and gardens. The city borders on the municipalities of Santa Coloma de Gramonet and Sant Adria de Besos to the north, the Mediterranean Sea to the east, El Prat de Llobregat and L'Hospitalet de Llobregat to the south, and Sant Feliu de Llobregat, Sant Just Disven, Esplugues de Llobregat, Sant Cugart del Valles, and Moncotha Iriexic to the west. The municipality includes two small sparsely inhabited exclaves to the northwest. Chapter 3 Section 2 Climate According to the Kirpan climate classification, Barcelona has a hot summer Mediterranean climate, with mild winters and warm to hot summers, while the rainiest seasons are autumn and spring. The rainfall pattern is characterized by a short dry season in summer, as well as less winter rainfall, than in a typical Mediterranean climate. However, both June and August are wetter than February, which is unusual for the Mediterranean climate. This subtype, labeled as Portuguese by the French geographer Georges Viers after the climate classification of Emmanuel de Martin and found in the NW Mediterranean area, can be seen as transitional to the humid subtropical climate found in inland areas. Barcelona is densely populated, thus heavily influenced by the urban heat island effect. Areas outside of the urbanized districts can have as much as 2 degrees Celsius of difference in temperatures throughout the year. Its average annual temperature is 21.2 degrees Celsius during the day and 15.1 degrees Celsius at night. The average annual temperature of the sea is about 20 degrees Celsius. In the coldest month, January, the temperature typically ranges from 12 to 18 degrees Celsius during the day, 6 to 12 degrees Celsius at night and the average sea temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. In the warmest month, August, the typical temperature ranges from 27 to 31 degrees Celsius during the day, about 23 degrees Celsius at night and the average sea temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. Generally, the summer or holiday season lasts about six months, from May to October. Two months, April and November, are transitional, sometimes the temperature exceeds 20 degrees Celsius, with an average temperature of 18 to 19 degrees Celsius during the day and 11 to 13 degrees Celsius at night. December, January and February are the coldest months, with average temperatures around 15 degrees Celsius during the day and 9 degrees Celsius at night. Large fluctuations in temperature are rare, particularly in the summer months. Because of the proximity to the warm sea plus the urban heat island, frosts are very rare in the city of Barcelona. Snow is also very infrequent in the city of Barcelona, but light snowfalls can occur yearly in the nearby Coisarola Mountains, such as in the Faber Observatory located in a nearby mountain. Barcelona averages 78 rainy days per year, and annual average relative humidity is 72%, ranging from 69% in July to 75% in October. Rainfall totals are highest in late summer and autumn and lowest in early and mid-summer, with a secondary winter minimum. Sunshine duration is 2,524 hours per year, from 138 in December to 310 in July. Chapter 4 – Demographics According to Barcelona's City Council, Barcelona's population as of 1 January 2016 was 1,608,746 people, on a land area of 101.4 square kilometers. It is the main component of an administrative area of Greater Barcelona, 
with a population of 3,218,071 in an area of 636 square kilometers. The population of the urban area was 4,840,000. It is the central nucleus of the Barcelona metropolitan area, which relies on a population of 5,474,482. Spanish is the most spoken language in Barcelona, and it is understood almost universally. Catalan is also very commonly spoken in the city, it is understood by 95% of the population, while 72.3% can speak it, 79% can read it, and 53% can write it. Knowledge of Catalan has increased significantly in recent decades thanks to a language immersion educational system. In 1900, Barcelona had a population of 533,000, which grew steadily but slowly until 1950, when it started absorbing a high number of people from other less industrialized parts of Spain. Barcelona's population peaked in 1979 at 1,906,998, and fell throughout the 1980s and 1990s as more people sought a higher quality of life in outlying cities in the Barcelona metropolitan area. After bottoming out in 2000 with 1,496,266 residents, the city's population began to rise again as younger people started to return, causing a great increase in housing prices. Chapter 4 Section 1 Population Density Note this text is entirely based on the municipal statistical database provided by the City Council. Barcelona is one of the most densely populated cities in Europe. For the year 2008 the City Council calculated the population to 1,621,090 living in the 102.2 square kilometers sized municipality, giving the city an average population density of 15,926 inhabitants per square kilometer with a Champla being the most populated district. In the case of Barcelona though, the land distribution is extremely uneven. Half of the municipality or 50.2 square kilometers, all of it located on the municipal edge is made up of the 10 least, densely populated neighborhoods containing less than 10% of the city's population, the uninhabited Zona Franca industrial area, and Mordueque Forest Park. Leaving the remaining 90% or slightly below 1.5 million inhabitants living on the remaining 52 square kilometers at an average density close to 28,500 inhabitants per square kilometer. Of the 73 neighborhoods in the city, 45 had a population density above 20,000 inhabitants per square kilometer with a combined population of 1,313,424 inhabitants living on 38.6 square kilometers at an average density of 33,987 inhabitants per square kilometer. The 30 most densely populated neighborhoods accounted for 57.5% of the city population occupying only 22.7% of the municipality, or in other words, 936,406 people living at an average density of 40,322 inhabitants per square kilometer. The city's highest density is found at and around the neighborhood of La Sagrada Familia where four of the city's most Densely populated neighborhoods are located side by side, all with a population density above 50,000 inhabitants per square kilometer. Chapter 4 Section 2 Age Structure In 1900 almost a third were children, in 2017 this age group constituted only 12.7, those aged between 15 and 24 years in 2017 were 9%, those aged between 25 and 44 years are 30.6%. In contrast, in 2017 the aged between 45 and 64 years formed the 56.9% of all Barcelonans, while in 1900 the aged 65 and older were just the 6.5%, in 2017 reached a 21.5. Chapter 4 Section 3, Migration In 2016 about 59% of the inhabitants of the city were born in Catalonia and 18.5% coming from the rest of the country. In addition to that, 22.5% of the population was born outside of Spain, 
a proportion which has more than doubled since 2001 and more than quintupled since 1996 when it was 8.6% respectively 3.9%. The most important region of origin of migrants is Europe, with many coming from Italy or France. Moreover, many migrants come from Latin American nations such as Bolivia, Ecuador or Colombia. Since the 1990s, and similar to other migrants, many Latin Americans have settled in northern parts of the city. There exists a relatively large Pakistani community in Barcelona with up to 20,000 nationals. The community consists of significantly more men than women. Many of the Pakistanis are living in Shatat Vela. First Pakistani migrants came in the 1970s, with increasing numbers in the 1990s. Other significant migrant groups come from Asia, as from China and the Philippines. There is a Japanese community clustered in Bananova, Le Tres Torres, Pedrobes, and other northern neighborhoods, and a Japanese international school serves that community. Chapter 4 Section 4 Religion most of the inhabitants state they are Roman Catholic. In a 2011 survey conducted by InfoCatolica, 49.5% of Barcelona residents of all ages identified themselves as Catholic. This was the first time that more than half of respondents did not identify themselves as Catholic Christians. The numbers reflect a broader trend in Spain whereby the numbers of self-identified Catholics have declined. In 2019, a survey by Centro de Investigaciones Sociológicas showed that 53.2% of residents in Barcelona identified themselves as Catholic. The province has the largest Muslim community in Spain, 322,698 people in Barcelona province are of Muslim religion. A considerable number of Muslims live in Barcelona due to immigration. In 2014, 322,698 out of 5.5 million people in the province of Barcelona identified themselves as Muslim, which makes 5.6% of total population. The city also has the largest Jewish community in Spain, with an estimated 3,500 Jews living in the city. There are also a number of other groups, including Evangelical, Jehovah's Witnesses, Buddhists, and Eastern Orthodox. Chapter 5, Economy Chapter 5 Section 1, General Information The Barcelona metropolitan area comprises over 66% of the people of Catalonia, one of the richer regions in Europe and the fourth richest region per capita in Spain, with a GDP per capita amounting to €28,400. The Greater Barcelona Metropolitan Area had a GDP amounting to $177 billion, making it the fourth most economically powerful city by gross GDP in the European Union, and 35th in the world in 2009. Barcelona City had a very high GDP of €80,894 per head in 2004, according to Eurostat. Furthermore, Barcelona was Europe's fourth best business city and fastest improving European city, with growth improved by 17% per year as of 2009. Barcelona was the 24th most livable city in the world in 2015 according to lifestyle magazine Monocle. Similarly, according to innovation analysts Tuthinno, Barcelona occupies 13th place in the world on Innovation City's Global Index. At the same time it is according to the Global Wealth and Lifestyle Report 2020 one of the most affordable cities in the world for a luxury lifestyle. Barcelona has a long-standing mercantile tradition. Less well known is that the city industrialized early, taking off in 1833, when Catalonia's already sophisticated textile industry began to use steam power. It became the first and most important industrial city in the Mediterranean basin. Since then, manufacturing has played a large role in its history. Borsa de Barcelona, is the main stock exchange in the northeastern part of the Iberian Peninsula. Barcelona was recognized as the Southern European City of the Future for 2014-15, based on its economic potential, by FD magazine in their biannual rankings. Chapter 5 Section 2, Trade Fair and Exhibitions Drawing upon its tradition of creative art and craftsmanship, 
Barcelona is known for its award-winning industrial design. It also has several congress halls, notably Fira de Barcelona, the second-largest trade fair and exhibition center in Europe, that host a quickly growing number of national and international events each year. The total exhibition floor space of Fira de Barcelona venues is 405,000 square meters, not counting Gran Via Center on the Plaza de Europa. However, the Eurozone crisis and deep cuts in business travel affected the Council's positioning of the city as a convention center. An important business center, the World Trade Center Barcelona, is located in Barcelona's Port Vell Harbor. The city is known for hosting well as world-class conferences and expositions, including the 1888 Exposición Universal de Barcelona, the 1929 Barcelona International Exposition, the 2004 Universal Forum of Cultures and the 2004 World Urban Forum. Chapter 5 Section 3 – Tourism Barcelona was the 20th most visited city in the world by international visitors and the 5th most visited city in Europe after London, Paris, Istanbul, and Rome, with 5.5 million international visitors in 2011. By 2015, both Prague and Milan had more international visitors. With its rambles, Barcelona is ranked the most popular city to visit in Spain. Barcelona is internationally renowned a tourist destination, with numerous recreational areas, one of the best beaches in the world, mild and warm climate, historical monuments, including eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites, 519 hotels as of March 2016 including 35 five-star hotels, and developed tourist infrastructure. Due to its large influx of tourists each year, Barcelona, like many other tourism capitals, has to deal with pickpockets, with wallets and passports being commonly stolen items. For this reason, most travel guides recommend that visitors take precautions to ensure their possessions' safety, especially inside the metro premises. Despite its moderate pickpocket rate, Barcelona is considered one of the safest cities in terms of health security and personal safety, mainly because of a sophisticated policing strategy that has dropped crime by 32% in just over three years, and has led it to be considered the 15th safest city in the world by Business Insider. But while tourism produces economic benefits, according to one report, the city is overrun hordes of tourists. In early 2017, over 150,000 protesters warned that tourism is destabilizing the city. Slogans included tourists go home, Barcelona is not for sale and we will not be driven out. By then, number of visitors had increased from 1.7 million in 1990 to 32 million in a city with a population of 1.62 million, increasing the cost of rental housing for residents and overcrowding the public places. While tourists spent an estimated 30 billion euros in 2017, they are viewed by some as a threat to Barcelona's identity. A May 2017 article in England's The Telegraph newspaper included Barcelona among the eight places that hate tourists the most and included a comment from Mayor Ada Colau, We don't want the city to become a cheap souvenir shop. To moderate the problem, the city has stopped issuing licenses for new hotels and holiday apartments. It also fined Airbnb with a 30,000 euros. The mayor has suggested an additional tourist tax and setting a limit on the number of visitors. One industry insider, Justin Francis, founder of the responsible travel agency, stated that steps must be taken to limit the number of visitors that are causing an over-tourism crisis in several major European cities. Ultimately, residents must be prioritized over tourists for housing, infrastructure and access to services because they have a long-term stake in the city's success, he said. Managing tourism more responsibly can help, Francis later told a journalist, but some destinations may just have too many tourists, and Barcelona may be a case of that. Chapter 5 Section 4 – Manufacturing Sector Industry generates 21% of the total gross domestic product of the region, with the energy, chemical and metallurgy industries accounting for 47% of industrial production. The Barcelona metropolitan area, 67% of the total number of industrial establishments in Catalonia, as of 1997. Barcelona, 
has long been an important European automobile manufacturing center. Formerly there were automobile factories of AFA, Abadal, Actividades Industriales, Alvarez, America, Artestu Arcos, Balandras, Barada Desteva, Viscuta, J. Castro, Cliwa, David, Delphin, Diaz E. Grillo, Ebro Trucks, Edis, Elisald, Automoviles España, U Court, Phoenix, Fabrica Hispano, Auto Academia Garriga, Fabrica Española de Automoviles Hebe, Hispano Suiza, Huracan Motors, Talas Hieta, Junior SL, Capi, La Quadra, MA, Automoviles Matas, Matoris y Motos, Nacional Custles, National Pescara, Nacional RG, Nacional Ruby, Nacional Sitches, Automoviles Nike, Oryx, Otro Ford, Pertia, Pegaso, PTV, Ricart, Ricart Espana, Industrios Salvador, Sata Española, Stevenson, Roma Gorsa e Compania, Gaje Storm, Talas Hieta, Triumph, Automoviles Victoria, Manufacturas Mecanicas Alu Dr. Day, the headquarters and a large factory of seat are in one of its suburbs. There is also a Nissan factory in the logistics and industrial area of the city. The factory of Derby, a large manufacturer of motorcycles, scooters and mopeds, also lies near the city. As in other modern cities, the manufacturing sector has long since been overtaken by the services sector, though it remains very important. The region's leading industries are textiles, chemical, pharmaceutical, motor, electronic, printing, logistics, publishing, in telecommunications industry and culture the notable Mobile World Congress, and information technology services. Chapter 5 Section 5, Fashion The traditional importance of textiles is reflected in Barcelona's drive to become a major fashion center. There have been many attempts to launch Barcelona as a fashion capital, notably Gaudi Home. Beginning in the summer of 2000, the city hosted the Bread and Butter Urban Fashion Fair until 2009, when its organizers announced that it would be returning to Berlin. This was a hard blow for the city as the fair brought 100 million euros to the city in just three days. Since 2009, the Brandery, an urban fashion show, has been held in Barcelona twice a year until 2012. According to the Global Language Monitor's annual ranking of the world's top 50 fashion capitals Barcelona was named as the seventh most important fashion capital of the world right after Milan and before Berlin in 2015. Chapter 6, Government and Administrative Divisions As the capital of the autonomous community of Catalonia, Barcelona is the seat of the Catalan government, known as the Generalitat de Catalunya, of particular note are the executive branch, the parliament, and the High Court of Justice of Catalonia. The city is also the capital of the province of Barcelona and the Barcelona's Comarca. Barcelona is governed by a city council formed by 41 city councillors, elected for a four-year term by universal suffrage. As one of the two biggest cities in Spain, Barcelona, subject to a special law articulated through the Carta Municipal. A first version of this law, was passed in 1960 and amended later, but the current version was approved in March 2006. According to this law, Barcelona's city council is organized in two levels, a political one, with elected city councillors, and one executive, which administrates the programs and executes the decisions taken on the political level. This law also gives the local government a special relationship with the central government and it also gives the mayor wider prerogatives by the means of municipal executive commissions. It expands the powers of the city council in areas like telecommunications, city traffic, road safety and public safety. It also gives a special economic regime to the city's treasury and it gives the council a veto in matters that will be decided by the central government but that will need a favorable report from the council. The Comissio de Govern is the executive branch, formed by 24 councillors, led by the mayor, with five lieutenant mayors and 17 city councillors, each in charge of an area of government, and five non-elected councillors. The plenary, formed by the 41 city councillors, has advisory, planning, regulatory, and fiscal executive functions. 
The six commissions Dell can sell municipal have executive and controlling functions in the field of their jurisdiction. They are composed by a number of councillors proportional to the number of councillors each political party, as in the plenary. The City Council has jurisdiction in the fields of city planning, transportation, municipal taxes, public highways security through the Guardia Urbana, city maintenance, gardens, parks and environment, facilities, culture, sports, youth and social welfare. Some of these competencies are not exclusive, but shared with the Generalitat de Catalunya or the central Spanish government. In some fields with shared responsibility, there is a shared agency or consortium, between the city and the Generalitat to plan and manage services. The executive branch is led by a chief municipal executive officer which answers to the mayor. It is made up of departments which are legally part of the city council, and by separate legal entities of two types, autonomous public departments and public enterprises. The seat of the city council is on the Placa de Saint Jome, opposite the seat of Generalitat de Catalunya. Since the coming of the Spanish democracy, Barcelona had been governed by the PSC, first with an absolute majority and later in coalition with ERC and ICV. After the May 2007 election, the ERC did not renew the coalition agreement, and the PSC governed in a minority coalition with ICV as the junior partner. After 32 years, on the 22nd of May 2011, Chu gained a plurality of seats at the municipal election, gaining 15 seats to the PSC's 11. The PP hold 8 seats, ICV 5 and ERC 2. Chapter 6, Section 1, Districts Since 1987, the city has been divided into 10 administrative districts. Chatat Vela Achampla Sants Mor Duic Les Courts Saria Sant Gervasi Gracia Ortaguinado New Barris Sant Andreu Sant Marti The districts are based mostly on historical divisions, and several are former towns annexed by the city of Barcelona in the 18th and 19th centuries that still maintain their own distinct character. Each district has its own council led by a city councillor. The composition of each district council depends on the number of votes each political party had in that district, so a district can be led by a councillor from a different party than the executive council. Chapter 7, Education Barcelona has a well-developed higher education system of public universities. Most prominent among these are the University of Barcelona and the more modern Pompeu Fabra University. Barcelona is also home to the Polytechnic University of Catalonia, and in the private sector the EDA Business School, which became the first Barcelona institution to run manager training programs for the business community. E's Business School, as well as the largest private educational institution, the Ramon Llull University, which encompasses schools and institutes such as the ESAID Business School. The Autonomous University of Barcelona, another public university, is located in Bellaterra, a town in the metropolitan area. Toulouse Business School and the Open University of Catalonia are also based in Barcelona. The city has a network of public schools, from nurseries to high schools, under the responsibility of a consortium led by city council. There are also many private schools, some of them Roman Catholic. Most such schools receive a public subsidy on a per-student basis, are subject to inspection by the public authorities, and are required to follow the same curricular guidelines as public schools, though they charge tuition. Known as Escoles Concertades, they are distinct from schools whose funding is entirely private. The language of instruction at public schools and Escoles Concertades is Catalan, as stipulated by the 2009 Catalan Education Act. Spanish may be used as a language of instruction by teachers of Spanish literature or language, and foreign languages by teachers of those languages. An experimental partial immersion program adopted by some schools allows for the teaching of a foreign language across the curriculum, though this is limited to a maximum of 30% of the school day. 
No public school or a scola concertada in Barcelona may offer 50% or full immersion programs in a foreign language, nor does any public school or a scola concertada offer international baccalaureate programs. Chapter 8 Culture Barcelona's cultural roots go back 2,000 years. Since the arrival of democracy, the Catalan language has been promoted, both by recovering works from the past and by stimulating the creation of new works. Barcelona is designated as a world-class city by the Globalization and World Cities Study Group and Network. It has also been part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network as a city of literature since 2015. Chapter 8 Section 1 – Entertainment and Performing Arts Barcelona has many venues for live music and theatre, including the world-renowned Gran Teatro del Liso Opera House, the Teatro Nacional de Catalunya, the Teatro Lea and the Palau de la Musica Catalana Concert Hall. Barcelona also is home to the Barcelona Symphony and Catalonia National Orchestra, the largest symphonic orchestra in Catalonia. In 1999, the OBC inaugurated its new venue in the brand new auditorium. It performs around 75 concerts per season and its current director is A.G. O.A. It is home to the Barcelona Guitar Orchestra, directed by Sergi Vicente. The major thoroughfare of La Rambla is home to mime artists and street performers. Yearly, two major pop music festivals take place in the city, the Sonar Festival, and the Primavera Sound Festival. The city also has a thriving alternative music scene, with groups such as the Pinker Tones receiving international attention. Barcelona is an international hub of highly active and diverse nightlife with bars, dance bars and nightclubs staying open well past midnight. Chapter 8 Section 2 – Media El Periódico de Catalunya, La Vanguardia and Ara are Barcelona's three major daily newspapers while Sport and El Mundo Deportivo are the city's two major sports daily newspapers, published by the same companies. The city is also served by a number of smaller publications such as Ara and El Puntavui, by nationwide newspapers with special Barcelona editions like El Pace and El Mundo, and by several free newspapers like 20 Minutos and K. Barcelona's oldest and main online newspaper Vila Web is also the oldest one in Europe. Several major FM stations include Catalunya Radio, IC1, IC105 and Cadena Ser. Barcelona also has a local TV stations, VTV, owned by City Council. The headquarters of Televisio de Catalunya, Catalonia's public network, are located in Sant Joan Despi, in Barcelona's metropolitan area. Chapter 8 Section 3 – Sports Barcelona has a long sporting tradition and hosted the highly successful 1992 Summer Olympics as well as several matches during the 1982 FIFA World Cup. It has hosted about 30 sports events of international significance. FC Barcelona is a sports club best known worldwide for its football team, one of the largest and the second richest in the world. It has 74 national trophies and 17 continental prizes, including five UEFA Champions League trophies out of eight finals and three FIFA Club World Cup wins out of four finals. The club won six trophies in a calendar year in 2009, becoming one of only two male football teams in the world to win the coveted sextuple, apart from FC Bayern Munich in 2020. FC Barcelona also has professional teams in other sports like FC Barcelona Regal, FC Barcelona Handball, FC Barcelona Hockey, FC Barcelona Ice Hockey, FC Barcelona Futsal and FC Barcelona Rugby, all at one point winners of the highest national and or European competitions. The club's museum, is the second most visited in Catalonia. The matches against crosstown rivals RCD Espanyol are of particular interest, but there are other Barcelonan football clubs in lower categories, like CE Europa and UE Sant Andreu. FC Barcelona's basketball team has a noted rivalry in the Liga ACB with nearby Juventud Badalona. Barcelona has three UEFA elite stadiums, FC Barcelona's Camp Nou, the largest stadium in Europe with a capacity of 99,354, 
the publicly owned Estadi Olympic Louis companies, with a capacity of 55,926, used for the 1992 Olympics, and Estadi Cornella El Prat, with a capacity of 40,500. Furthermore, the city has several smaller stadiums such as Mini Estadi with a capacity of 15,000, Camp Municipal Narcis Sala with a capacity of 6,563 and New Sardinia with a capacity of 7,000. The city has a further three multifunctional venues for sports and concerts, the Palau San Jordi with a capacity of 12,000 to 24,000, the Palau Blaugrana with a capacity of 7,500, and the Palau dels Esports de Barcelona with a capacity of 3,500. Barcelona was the host city for the 2013 World Aquatics Championships, which were held at the Palau San Jordi. Several road-running competitions are organized year-round in Barcelona, the Barcelona Marathon every March with over 10,000 participants in 2010, the Cursa de Bombers in April, the Cursa de El Corte Ingles in May, the Cursa de la Mercer, the Cursa Jean Buan, the Mila Sagrada Familia, and the San Silvestre. There's also the Ultra Trail Coisarola which passes 85 km through the Coisarola Forest. The Open Seat Godo, a 50-year-old ATP World Tour 500 Series Tennis Tournament, is held annually in the facilities of the Real Club de Tennis Barcelona. Each year on Christmas Day, a 200-meter swimming race across the old port of Barcelona takes place. Near Barcelona, in Montmelo, the 107,000 capacity circuit to Barcelona Catalunya racetrack hosts the Formula One Spanish Grand Prix, the Catalan Motorcycle Grand Prix, the Spanish GT Championship and races in the GP2 series. Skateboarding and cycling are also very popular in Barcelona, in and around the city there are dozens of kilometers of bicycle paths. Chapter 8 Section 4, Squatters Movement Barcelona is also home to numerous social centers and illegal squats that effectively form a shadow society mainly made up of the unemployed, immigrants, dropouts, anarchists, anti-authoritarians and autonomists. Peter Gelderloos estimates that there are around 200 squatted buildings and 40 social centers across the city with thousands of inhabitants, making it one of the largest squatter movements in the world. He notes that they pirate electricity, internet and water allowing them to live on less than one euro a day. He argues that these squats embrace an anarcho-communist and anti-work philosophy, often freely fixing up new houses, cleaning, patching roofs, installing windows, toilets, showers, lights and kitchens. In the wake of austerity, the squats have provided a number of social services to the surrounding residents, including bicycle repair workshops, carpentry workshops, self-defense classes, free libraries, community gardens, free meals, computer labs, language classes, theater groups, free medical care and legal support services. The squats help elderly residents avoid eviction and organize various protests throughout Barcelona. Notable squats include Convise and Canmastu. Police have repeatedly tried to shut down the squatters' movement with waves of evictions and raids, but the movement is still going strong. Chapter 9, Transport Chapter 9 Section 1, Airports Barcelona is served by Barcelona El Prat Airport, about 17 kilometers from the center of Barcelona. It is the second largest airport in Spain, and the largest on the Mediterranean coast, which handled more than 50.17 million passengers in 2018, showing an annual upward trend. It is a main hub for Vueling Airlines and Ryanair, and also a focus for Iberia and Air Europa. The airport mainly serves domestic and European destinations, although some airlines offer destinations in Latin America, Asia and the United States. The airport is connected to the city by highway, metro, commuter train and scheduled bus service. A new terminal has been built, and entered service on 17 June 2009. Some low-cost airlines, also use Girona Costa Brava Airport, about 90 km to the north, Royce Airport, 77 km to the south, or Yeda Alguer Airport, about 150 km to the west, 
of the city. Sabadell Airport is a smaller airport in the nearby town of Sabadell, devoted to pilot training, air taxi and private flights. Chapter 9 Section 2, Seaport The port of Barcelona has a 2,000-year-old history, and a great contemporary commercial importance. It is Europe's ninth-largest container port, with a trade volume of 1.72 million teos in 2013. The port is managed by the Port Authority of Barcelona. Its 10 square kilometers are divided into three zones, Port Vell, the commercial port and the logistics port. The port is undergoing an enlargement that will double its size thanks to diverting the mouth of the Lubregat River two kilometers to the south. The Barcelona harbor is the leading European cruiser port and a most important Mediterranean turnaround base. In 2013, 3,6 million of pleasure cruises passengers used services of the Port of Barcelona. The Port Vell area also houses the Mare Magnum, a multiplex cinema, the IMAX Port Vell, and one of Europe's largest aquariums, Aquarium Barcelona, containing 8,000 fish and 11 sharks, contained in 22 basins filled with 4 million litres of seawater. The Mare Magnum, being situated within the confines of the port, is the only commercial mall in the city that can open on Sundays and public holidays. Chapter 9 Section 3, National and International Rail Barcelona, is a major hub for the Spanish rail network. The city's main inter-city rail station is Barcelona Sants Railway Station, whilst Estacio de Franca Terminus serves a secondary role handling suburban, regional and medium distance services. Freight services operate to local industries and to the port of Barcelona. Renfe's of high-speed rail system, which is designed for speeds of 310 km per hour, was extended from Madrid to Barcelona in 2000, and ate in the form of the Madrid-Barcelona high-speed rail line. A shared Renfe SNCF high-speed rail connecting Barcelona and France was launched in 2013. Both these lines serve Barcelona Sants Terminal Station. Chapter 9 Section 4, Metro and Regional Rail Barcelona is served by an extensive local public transport network that includes a metro system, a bus network, a regional railway system, trams, funiculars, rack railways, a gondola lift and aerial cable cars. These networks and lines are run by a number of different operators but they are integrated into a coordinated fare system, administered by the Autoritat El Transport Metropolita. The system is divided into fare zones and various integrated travel cards are available. The Barcelona Metro network comprises 12 lines, identified by an L followed by the line number as well as by individual colors. The metro largely runs underground, Eight metro lines are operated on dedicated track by the Transports Metropolitans de Barcelona, whilst four lines are operated by the Ferrocarrils de la Generalitat de Catalunya, and some of them share tracks with Renfe commuter lines. In addition to the city metro, several regional rail lines operated by Renfe's Rodalies de Catalunya run across the city, providing connections to outlying towns in the surrounding region. Chapter 9 Section 5, Tram the city's two modern tram systems, Trambaix and Trambesos, are operated by Tramat. A heritage tram line, the Tramvia Blau, also operates between the Metro Line 7, and the Funicular del Tibidabo. Chapter 9 Section 6, Funicular and Cable Car Barcelona's metro and rail system is supplemented by several aerial cable cars, funiculars and rack railways that provide connections to mountaintop stations. FGC operates the funicular de Tibidabo up the hill of Tibidabo and the funicular de Valvedrera, while TMB runs the funicular de Morduic up Morduic. The city has two aerial cable cars, the Morduic cable car, which serves Morduic Castle, and the Portvel aerial tramway that runs via Torre Jomai and Torre Sant Sebastià over the port. Chapter 9 Section 7, Bus Buses in Barcelona are a major form of public transport, with extensive local, inter-urban, and night bus networks. Most local services are operated by the TMB, 
although some other services are operated by a number of private companies, albeit still within the ATM fare structure. A separate private bus line, known as Aerobus, links the airport with the city center, with its own fare structure. The Estacio del Nord, a former railway station which was renovated for the 1992 Olympic Games, now serves as the terminus for long-distance and regional bus services. Chapter 9 Section 8 Taxi Barcelona has a metered taxi fleet governed by the Institut Metropolita del Taxi, composed of more than 10,000 cars. Most of the licenses are in the hands of self-employed drivers. With their black and yellow livery, Barcelona's taxis are easily spotted, and can be caught from one of many taxi ranks, hailed on street, called by telephone or via app. On 22 March 2007, Barcelona's city council started the Bicing Service, a bicycle service understood as a public transport. Once the user has their user card, they can take a bicycle from any of the more than 400 stations spread around the city and use it anywhere the urban area of the city, and then leave it at another station. The service has been a success, with 50,000 subscribed users in three months. Chapter 9 Section 9 Roads and Highways Barcelona lies on three international routes, including European Route E15 that follows the Mediterranean coast, European Route E90 to Madrid and Lisbon, and European Route E09 to Paris. It is also served by a comprehensive network of motorways and highways throughout the metropolitan area, including A2, A7 slash AP7, C16, C17, C31, C32, C33, C60. The city is circled by three half ring roads or bypasses, Ronda de Dalt, Ronda del Litoral and Ronda del Mig, two partially covered fast highways with several exits that bypass the city. The city's main arteries include Diagonal Avenue, which crosses it diagonally, Meridiana Avenue which leads to Glories and connects with Diagonal Avenue and Gran Via de la Cortes Catalanes, which crosses the city from east to west, passing through its center. The famous Boulevard of La Rambla, whilst no longer an important vehicular route, remains an important pedestrian route. Chapter 10, Main Sites The Barry Gothic is the center of the old city of Barcelona. Many of the buildings date from medieval times, some from as far back as the Roman settlement of Barcelona. Catalan modernista architecture developed between 1885 and 1950 and left an important legacy in Barcelona. Several of these buildings are World Heritage Sites. Especially remarkable is the work of architect Antoni Gaudi, which can be seen throughout the city. His best-known work is the immense but still unfinished Church of the Sagrada Familia, which has been under construction since 1882 and is still financed by private donations. As of 2015, completion is planned for 2026. Barcelona was also home to Mies van der Rohe's Barcelona Pavilion. Designed in 1929 for the International Exposition for Germany, it was an iconic building that came to symbolize modern architecture as the embodiment of van der Rohe's aphorisms Less is more and God is in the details. The Barcelona Pavilion was intended as a temporary structure and was torn down in 1930 less than a year after it was constructed. A modern recreation by Spanish architects now stands in Barcelona, however, constructed in 1986. Barcelona won the 1999 Reba Royal Gold Medal for its architecture, the first time that the winner has been a city rather than an individual architect. Chapter 10 Section 1, World Heritage Sites Barcelona is the home of many points of interest, declared World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. Chapter 10 Section 2, Historic Buildings and Monuments Minor Basilica of Sagrada Familia, the symbol of Barcelona. Palau de la Musica Catalana and Hospital de Sant Por, designed by Luis Domenici I. Montana, included in the UNESCO Heritage List in 1997. Works by Antoni Gaudi, including Parque Güell, Palau Güell, Casa Mila, Casa Vicens, Sagrada Familia, Casa Batio, Crypton Church of Colonia Güell. 
The first three works were inscribed as a World Heritage Site in 1984. The other four were added as extensions to the site in 2005. The Cathedral of the Holy Cross and St. Eulalia. Gothic Basilica of Santa Maria del Mar. Gothic Basilica of Santa Maria del Pai. Romanesque Church of Sant Por del Camp. Palau Real Major, medieval residence of the sovereign counts of Barcelona, later kings of Aragon. The Royal Shipyard. Monastery of Pedralbs. The Columbus Monument. The Arc de Triomphe, a triumphal arch built for entrance to 1888 Barcelona Universal Exposition. Expiatory Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus on the summit of Tibidabo. The Historic Building of the University of Barcelona. Chapter 10 Section 3, Museums. Barcelona has a great number of museums, which cover different areas and eras. The National Museum of Art of Catalonia possesses a well-known collection of Romanesque art, while the Barcelona Museum of Contemporary Art focuses on post-1945 Catalan and Spanish art. The Fundació Joan Miró, Picasso Museum, and Fundació Antoni Topias hold important collections of these world-renowned artists, as well as the Confremis Museum, focused on post-1960 Catalan art owned by Fundació Vila Casas. Several museums cover the fields of history and archaeology, like the Barcelona City History Museum, the Museum of the History of Catalonia, the Archaeology Museum of Catalonia, the Maritime Museum of Barcelona, the Music Museum of Barcelona, and the privately owned Egyptian Museum. The Erotic Museum of Barcelona is among the most peculiar ones, while Cosmo Caixa is a science museum that received the European Museum of the Year Award in 2000, and 6. The Museum of Natural Sciences of Barcelona was founded in 1882 under the name of Museo Martorell do Arqueologia e Ciencias Naturales. In 2011 the Museum of Natural Sciences ended up with a merge of five institutions, the Museum of Natural Sciences of Barcelona, the Martorell Museum, the Laboratory de Natura, at the Castle of the Three Dragons, the Historical Botanical Garden of Barcelona, founded 1930, and the Botanical Garden of Barcelona, founded 1999. Those two gardens are a part of the Botanical Institute of Barcelona too. The SC Barcelona Museum, is the third most popular tourist attraction in Catalonia, with 1,51 million visitors in 2013. Chapter 10 Section 4 Parks Barcelona contains 60 municipal parks, 12 of which are historic, 5 of which are thematic, 45 of which are urban, and 6 of which are forest. They range from vest pocket parks to large recreation areas. The urban parks alone cover 10% of the city. The total park surface grows about 10 hectares per year, with a proportion of 18.1 square meters of park area per inhabitant. Dot of Barcelona's parks, Morduic is the largest, with 203 hectares located on the mountain of the same name. It is followed by Parque de la Chitadella, 31 hectares or 76.6 acres including the zoo, the Guinardo Park, Park Guel, Ornita Castle Park, Diagonal Mar Park, New Barris Central Park, Candrago Sports Park and Piobanu Park, the Labyrinth Park, named after the garden maze it contains. There are also several smaller parks, for example, the Parc de Lay Egg. A part of the Coisarola Park is also within the city limits. Port Antura World, one of the largest resort in Europe, with 5,837,509 visitors per year, is located one hour's drive from Barcelona. Also, within the city lies Tibidabo Amusement Park, a small amusement park in Plaza del Tibidabo, with the Montaña Russa Amusement Ride. Chapter 10 Section 5, Beaches Barcelona Beach was listed as number one in a list of the top 10 city beaches in the world according to National Geographic and Discovery Channel. Barcelona contains seven beaches, totaling 4.5 kilometers of coastline. Sant Sebastià, Barceloneta and Summerostro beaches, both 1,100 meters in length, are the largest, 
oldest and the most frequented beaches in Barcelona. The Olympic harbour separates them from the other city beaches, Nova Icaria, Bogatel, Marbella, Nova Marbella, and Levant. These beaches were opened as a result of the city restructuring to host the 1992 Summer Olympics, when a great number of industrial buildings were demolished. At present, the beach sand is artificially replenished given, that storms regularly remove large quantities of material. The 2004 Universal Forum of Cultures left the city a large concrete bathing zone on the eastmost part of the city's coastline. Most recently, Levant is the first beach to allow dogs access during summer season. Chapter 10 Section 6 Other Sites Chapter 11 International Relations Chapter 11 Section 1 Twin Towns, Sister Cities Barcelona is twinned with Chapter 11 Section 2 Partnership and Friendship Barcelona also cooperates with Chapter 12 Notable People Chapter 12 Section 1 Jurinal References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain Smith, William, ed. Barcelona Dictionary of Greek and Roman Geography. London, John Murray. Barcelona. Gran Encyclopedia Catalana. Barcelona, ed. Encyclopedia Catalana S.A. Busquets, Joan. Barcelona, The Urban Evolution of a Compact City 468 pp. McDonough, G. W. Review S.A., Barcelona. Forms, Images, and Conflicts, Joan Busquets. Journal of Urban History. 37, 117-123. DUI, 10.117700096144213842503842500. S2 Tim. Ed. Transforming Barcelona, 267 pp. Ramon Racina, Joan. Barcelona's Vocation of Modernity, Rise and Decline of an Urban Image. 272 pp.